doing out there. This is Easy Work Boxing. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. About to hit you everywhere, but under your feet with this one. This is a video about Roy Jones Jr. talking about Sean Porter's and Errol Spence's resume. But the part of me going in on this interview about what Roy Jones was saying is something I've been saying for the longest. And one thing, one big factor I gotta bring out first, so make sure I don't forget it, is that even me and Money Brown, we had conversations about Money Brown TV, shout out to Money Brown TV. Even Money Brown and I had conversations about the fracture of uh, Kell Brooks' eye and him fighting Errol Spence Jr. immediately after that fight. Now, every time I would mention to Money Brown or whoever we was conversating about this situation about the fact that Kell Brooks' eye socket was broken on one side already by tri Triple G, then he comes immediately and fights Errol Spence Jr. And the other side gets fractured. And I explained to him, these are my exact words. I said, don't you think that since he got that other side tore, that it weren't fully healed, and that's what called the split in the other side? Nobody agreed with me. Here you have a professional fighter, a man who's been in the ring, who's been hurt before. Not the way that Kell Brook has, but like he stated, he believes himself that the fracture that he Kell Brook caught from Triple G also came in a hand on the fight against Errol Spence. And I said the same thing. And if y'all think I'm bullshitting, you can hit Money Brown up. I said the same exact thing. Nobody agreed with it. They thought I was making an excuse for, uh, I mean, I'm making an excuse, not making an excuse, but I was just trying to find any way to say that Errol Spence is not a good fighter or that Errol Spence won because of technicality. I was not saying that. I was only saying that he fought this man right after his eye socket got got tore, got got hurt. Right after that, the fight is stopped because of the other eye socket. It was too early for him to jump in there and fight a Errol Spence. Right after fighting a Triple G with a torn with an eye socket broke with a broke eye socket, then he get in the fight with Errol Spence Jr. Then look what happened. Also, he was saying. He can't really say too much about Errol Spence's resume. And who can? One big fighter, Mikey Garcia. And that's two divisions smaller. Like Errol, like Roy Jones said, I heard about him in the gym fighting Mayweather. I heard about him hitting, uh, knocking out Adrian Broner and all that. He said, but it's different on the lights. He said, Terrence Crawford, he know what he can do on the lights. He didn't see him fight the Beltrans and the Gamboas, the Victor Posters. You know, and the list goes on and on with Terrence Crawford. He said, but he has yet to see Errol Spence get in the ring with somebody like a Sean Porter who ain't nothing wrong with him. They not coming off a, a injury and jumping in the ring with him. He coming in against a, a good condition, not injured Sean Porter. Basically, all he's saying is this is the fight that will show him what Errol Spence is about. This is the fight that will show him that's the truth. He didn't disrespect Errol Spence in any way. He didn't disrespect Sean Porter in any way. The only thing he was saying was that he hasn't seen Errol Spence fight that fighter to give him the name, the truth, basically. That's all he was saying. So, you know, I know there's a lot of Errol Spence fans out there. Y'all saying that I'd be wrong. I'm hating on Errol Spence. And when I talked about this situation, about the broken eye socket, people thought I was making excuses. But you have now an official boxer on video telling y'all that the fight against Kell Brook and Errol Spence ended shortly due to the fact of that eye socket being being hurt in the first fight against Triple G. And this this a boxer saying this now. Now can I get my props, please? I know it's a lot of Errol fans out there. I never hate on them. I just I just tell the truth. That's it. You know, and I know it's some people out there. Roy Jones, shut up. You don't know what the hell you talking about. How he don't know what the hell? Roy Jones don't know what he's talking about too, huh? Roy Jones hating on him too. Basically, that, that's what's going to be next, right? Right? Because Roy Jones clearly stated, I'm not talking about or disrespecting or bashing Errol Spence. All I'm saying is, I haven't seen him go out there and live up to the name of the truth. Those are not his exact words. Those are my words. And like I've said, he is not the truth, and people have yet to see him be the truth. Now, a person, we're not talking about big names. And even still, in big names of his resume... 
you really can't go there. Because Michael Garcia is the biggest name that he got on his resume, and this guy was two divisions smaller than him. So please don't get on here and say, oh, Michael Garcia. Mike Gar oh, I know what's going to be there. They're going to say, well, Mike Garcia tops his resume. If that was the case, they'll be saying the same thing for Deontay Wilder. All right, because he fought Ortiz and Tyson Fury, all right? Ain't nobody sitting there saying that he the number one fighter at heavyweight because he fought them, or his resume is better than the Anthony Joshua's, which is not in my opinion. He ain't saying that. There ain't, ain't nobody saying that. So he going to take one fight against Michael Garcia, and now he's just the baddest motherfucking man on the planet. The, black, the baddest welterweight out there. Even though his resume sucks. And y'all know it sucks. I ain't taking nothing away from this man. This man go out there and take punches to risk his life. But I talk about boxing. And in the form of boxing and resumes, he does not have a top-notch resume. And it's nowhere near damn Terrence Crawford. Please don't say that. All right? Please don't get on here and say that. His resume is better than Terrence Crawford's. It is not. All right? I think probably him and Chris Algieri damn near got about the same resume. <laughs> the real, real with you. Him and Chris Algieri probably got about the same goddamn resume. And I ain't talking about the same exact fighters. I'm talking about the list of high level name opponents. You know, I give him Lamont Peterson. You know what I'm saying? I, even though that's an old Lamont Peterson, I give him Lamont Peterson too. He had Kale Brook, an uh, injured Kale Brook, who just fought Triple G with a bad eye socket coming in to fight him. And the other eye got hurt, but don't nobody think that's a reoccurring injury from the other side. It probably could have split over here during the fight. But, you know, I'm crazy. I'm just a hater. You know how it is on this channel. But I just had to get on here because I know, you know, respect to Roy Jones Jr., a true for, you know, boxing, true boxer, true man of the sport, true commentator to come out and speak his real opinion, not throw shade on nobody, just speak the honest truth. And I appreciate Roy Jones for coming out and do that because it all him doing that because also it help people to see that I actually be knowing what I'm talking about. Even though I have never been in the ring before, I've been watching this since a kid, y'all. And I know, just like Roy Jones Jr. said, his resume is not up to par for everybody to be thinking that this man is just a shit like that. He hasn't really fought anybody. And the one man that he did fight, it was two divisions smaller than him. Okay? Now it's time for us to see him go in there and fight a top level, 147 pound, fighter who gonna bring it, who's not injured or nothing like that. When er if Errol Spence comes out and win this fight, has off to Errol Spence, I will make a whole entire video congratulating Errol Spence, okay? This is no hate or anything, but the truth is the truth. The man resume ain't up the par for people to be on his coattail like that. This Easy Work Boxing, thank y'all for y'all time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to username, go to about. I would truly appreciate whatever it is you could donate. But most of all, thank you for watching. Thank you for taking time out your life to watch these videos. Take care of you and your family. And most importantly, man, hit that notification bell. And uh, just keep tuning in. I'm going to keep sending them, y'all. This is Easy Work Boxing. I'm out.